My name is Lockie Gill, I am 23 and I'm from the Mornington Peninsula. I've always played footy as soon as I could walk, I had a footy in my hand. You wanna walk the walk and count to ten, if you ain't a gun singer then you just won't win. By the time I was 16, I was looking at being drafted to play in the AFL and doing my music stuff on the side. This is that old-fashioned showdown. One of us gonna be kicking up the dirt. I was one step away from that dream of playing footy at the highest level, but music started to take over. It got to the point where I loved footy, but I loved music even more. So I ultimately had to choose between the two of them. I want to be a musician and, and I want that to be my career. I want to give everything to this. It will be the biggest performance I've ever done. OK. Give me the winner. I was distracted and in traffic I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened It really got me thinking Were you out drinking? Were you in the living room? Chilling, watching television? I love this song It's been a year now Think I figured out how Let you go and let communication die out Oh no! Oh, you know, you know We were down for forever and it's fine and I know, you know, we know We were meant for each other and it's fine If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? What? You'd come over and you'd stay the night Would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? Woo! Sky be falling while I'd hold And it's fine. The storytelling. You know what you are? You're an amazing storyteller. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. And that's what made me turn, because that song's great. But to tell a story is really special. And you took your time. You were patient. You trusted yourself. Your breathing was great. Your, your tone is really special. And I feel like I can hear you on a whole record. I'm going to go with Rita. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am giving you all a song from one of my friends, Lewis Capaldi. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Whoever can show me their true grit and determination will earn a spot on Team Retail. I just want to connect to the song. That will hopefully get me across the line. Counting days, counting days since my love lost on I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, I need you by my side There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder And if only
Fiona, you have a huge, powerful voice, and Lockie, you have an amazing storytelling ability. So the song I am giving you for the battle is It'll Be Okay by Shawn Mendes. Oh, the future we dreamed of is fading to black. Oh, and don't. You can go up there. Something more painful, nothing more painful. Yeah. Fiona is pitch perfect. She can go high, she can go low, and that's not necessarily me. Going up against Fiona, I think any act would have been intimidated, but Lockie has a natural gift where I believe every word that he's saying. I want you to also understand that you have a lot of power as well and to believe in yourself. I think your storytelling and connecting to the song is so good. <sighs> it's really about making sure they each have their fair moments. The only is mesmerizing, but she really needs to tune into knowing and learning the song really well. And so I can really believe what she's singing. For me, this is probably one of the most devastating breakup songs that have come out in our time now. Have you been through anything like that? I had my first, like, I'd say grown-up relationship when I was 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did suck. And I'm like, despite you messing with my head, I still am worthy of love, just as much as anyone. The reason why I've asked you is because I wanted to bring that feeling back to the surface so you can really channel that into this song. In terms of emotional connections to the music, Lockie is so talented, but I'm finding it a bit hard to tap into that pain. I actually really, really, really want to win. I have to tap into that authentic pain that I felt, putting my pain into the song. This is what I want to do. I have been putting a lot of pressure on myself. Now I'm here. I want to win it. Are we gonna make it? Is this gonna hurt? Oh. We could try to sedate it, but that never works, yeah. If you tell me you're leaving, I'll make it easy. It'll be okay. If we can't stop the bleed, we don't have to fix it. We don't have to stay. we dreamed of is fading to black oh, oh. And no, there's nothing more painful Nothing more painful yeah. If you tell me you're leaving I'll make it Wow, the conviction, Lockie, that you gave. I just believed everything that you said. Like, so much vulnerability, so much hard work has gone into that. Mm. You should really be proud of that, because I saw yeah. how much you worked on yourself. I can see it. And, Tioni, you have that incredible presence, Tioni, like that angelic tone that has so much in it, it's like a portal and you get in and then you're just like, whoa. I think 
putting you two together was probably the dumbest thing I ever did. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go back to why I chose to be a coach. Because I wanted to help people. The artist that won the battle tonight, for me, is you, Lockie. With the way your head is laying on my chest How you love the things I hate about myself That no one knows But with you, I see hope again Oh, I'm a mess When I overthink the little things in my head seem to always help me catch my breath but then i lose it again when i look at you that's the end and why do i get so nervous when i look into your eyes and butterflies can stop me falling for you and darling this is more than I think has that edge that I'm looking for. Lockie! Hi! <laughs> hey, my semi finalist! Hello. Hi! How are you feeling? I'm freaking so happy to be here. Like, yeah. honestly, it was never something I ever, ever, ever thought of. I wasn't even going to audition for the show because I was like, you know, I won't do very well or, or whatever. Now I'm in the semis. It's crazy. Now on to my next <laughs> subject. I really love Australian football, but I don't know anything <laughs> about it. It's complicated. I've got something I want to show you. Yeah, that's a Sharon. Is this called a Cheryl? A Sharon. But what does that mean? I think that's just the brand of the footy, Right, right, right. I heard that these balls are really hard to bounce. They are tricky, Can yeah. you show me? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> so you go like... <laughs> it's actually so hard to bounce. The bouncing is just because you can't take too many steps. So you can only take 15 steps. Oh my... This is impossible to bounce. So I tried to teach her a few skills um, from footy. I'm done with it. She wasn't very good at it. Okay. So you don't have to throw it too hard. There we go. Oh, oh boom! <laughs> Kidding. Okay, this is your old playing jersey. That is. Yeah, yeah that is. Um, Number 19. What was it like for you, you know, just playing footy? Every kid that plays footy when they're younger, they want to play AFL, and that's the highest level that you can get yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, it got to the point where you either get drafted or you don't, and I didn't. Um, and that was kind of a big shock. Was that hard for you? Yeah, yeah absolutely. It was so devastating, but that's when music started getting more serious for me. And I guess more impactful because you created space for it. Yeah, oh, 100%. All that effort that I was putting in at footy training then turned into... Yeah, exactly. I had all those hours of time to practice my music and, and get better at... You know, I think with what I've chosen for you, I want you to really sort of tap into that emotion and feeling that pain you felt when you didn't get drafted and then you found music. So the song I am giving you is... Deja Vu. Olivia Rodrigo. Okay. Yeah. I was honestly, I was shocked. I've been singing these sad ballads by male artists and she's given me a little bit more up-tempo, poppy, female artist. So I was instantly like, hang on a second. Oh my God, like, how am I going to do this? Car rides to Malibu, strawberry ice cream. Nice. One spoon for two. I've just got to put my own spin on it. Don't think of it as a, a female 
song by Olivia Rodrigo. It's a Lockie song. Play your piano, but she doesn't know that I was the one you taught you, Billy Joe. A different girl now, but there's nothing new. I know you get deja vu. So what I'm thinking there, a different girl, you can actually be angry there, almost. Yeah. And, and show that sense of, like, how could you do this to me? Like, you know, we were the ones. We were together. I thought I was meant to play football, but I'm not now. Yeah. But I think it's all about that passion, and that's exactly the frustration that I want to see in that performance. This could be my last performance, so I'm going to I'm gonna treat it as if it's my last performance. So I'm going to go out there and, and give it everything that I possibly have. I have put footy aside. It's gone. Music is it from here. It's all I have and all I want. I'm here to win, so I have to be in the grand final. I have to be. Car rides to Malibu, strawberry ice cream. One spoon for two and trading jackets. Laughing about how big it looks on you. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Watching. Reruns of play being annoying Singing in harmony I bet he is bragging To all his friends saying you're so unique <laughs> So when you gonna tell him That we did that too He thinks it's special hey. He works so hard, and you can tell every time I see you perform, it's like you just you step it up a notch every single time. You're likable, you're radio friendly, you're easy to the eye. You're everything one can look for in creating a superstar. Every week, it's a, a fire burning that just I just want to keep going and keep going. I have learned so much from thinking back to my first performance up here, but I'm, I'm just having so much fun, so I don't want this to stop. I believe that both of you could deliver exactly what I want in the final. I am so spoiled to have two artistic, incredible, unique artists on Team Rita this year. I'm gonna make this decision based off who I think is ready right now. The artist who knows their own sound, who I believe Australia is ready to hear on the radio and could take out this competition. Lockie. Good. Can you believe it? I think I can. Yeah, I'm good. So, I'm like, I'm like, so ready for this. I love yeah. that, and you deserve it. You've worked so hard. Before this, I was playing footy at my local club. I was doing gigs at the at the pub, you know. And now I'm about to walk out onto the grand finale stage. It's it's crazy. Your mum and dad. How do you think they feel about you being on The Voice? They've always just like supported me no matter what. It was with the footy and like as music started getting bigger into my life, they just jumped on it as well. They're just like, go whatever for Whatever makes it. you happy. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. They come to all my gigs. My parents were my backbone. Mm. And we're so lucky to have parents that support our dreams. And so, um, Natalie and Peter. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Hey. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. 
you have to give everything to this experience. You didn't know? No, I didn't. It's been a while since I've seen them, so to see them walk through the doors was amazing. I have to say, he's just grown into such an amazing artist, and like seeing him from the blinds to now, you guys must be so proud. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. I noticed Peter cry a little bit. It was such a special moment for the final mentoring. Time after time. I really get to see him get emotional, and so to see that when I was singing, it was almost a bigger push to me to show them that, you know, I, I, I want this so bad and that it means so much, not only to me, but to them as well. This is like your moment to really just put the other stamp you know, sing your heart out yeah. and make Australia fall in love with you as much as I have, please. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock ticking. Think of you, all up in circles, confusion is nothing new. Flashback. Sometimes you picture me You're walking too far ahead You're calling to me I can't hear this what is dark. you yeah. said hey. Then you say, oh, so I fall behind, I fall behind. The second Like, I know I'm weeing, but you, not actually weeing, but you know what I mean? <laughs> but you, you did all of this. Australia, thank you, thank you, I love you. This is amazing. And I feel like this is just the beginning for you. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you. I can't breathe. Dude. <laughs> Running out of days to come over. We're nearly out of night. You're leaving for a city once colder Where you live another life Has anybody seen you? Cause you're the first who ever really look at me Running out of days till I'm older hey. Wishing I could spend the time Rewatching all the friends as I hold you Resting my weary eyes It kills me how I need you Cause you're the first who ever really look at me Could get dangerous 
these temporary nights. Yeah. But wasting time with you never feels like wasted time. You know, you know we were meant for each other and it's fine